First, I give the floor to the Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Bea. So, today the Commission sends a stern warning. We had the two big uh, fishing nations. We are talking about Philippines and Papua New Guinea, a yellow card. Our thorough analysis highlights that they are not acting sufficiently to fight illegal fishing. And as you can understand, any illegal caught fish is of great concern to us. It undermines the livelihood of uh, the people who fish in a legal way, and also it depletes fish stocks. These are very important countries because they are key players in Western Pacific region. And uh, this Western Pacific region is very important for the fisheries worldwide. It's the home of more half of the whole world's tuna stocks. So more of the half of tuna stocks worldwide are living there. And also the Philippines, it's not a small fish, as you used to say. It's a big fish because uh, Philippines are ranking as number 12 in the list of world fishing nations ahead of all European member states. And also Papua New Guinea has the region's most fishy waters. I would like also to underline that half of the tunas caught in the Pacific end up on our plates, the European plates here in Europe. So what's happening there is our business too, because sustainability of fisheries in the Pacific Ocean means sustainability here. So in order to reach sustainability, we need everybody to cooperate. Flag states, market states, producers, everybody. Now we have been talking to the Philippines and Papua New Guinea for almost two years. We are convinced that these two countries exercise no real control on what goes on in their waters and also on their ships. So they cannot guarantee that their fish is caught respecting local and international rules. So we're giving them a warning this is our yellow card, of course. This is not the end of the game. To the contrary, we're going to cooperate with them closely through the coming uh, months. We are going to propose to each of these countries a tailored action plan. We're going to discuss with them these action plans in order to overcome the shortcomings. This is a method we have used already for um, 11 other countries since 2012. And I can say to you that this is bearing fruit. Because throughout all these um, investigations, only three countries, only three countries, I'm referring to Guinea, Belize, and Cambodia, uh, were characterized until the end of the day as non cooperative countries. So we have banned the imports for these three countries Guinea, Belize, and Cambodia. All the other countries have been cooperative with us, so we are continuing, and I hope that they are going to have a good process and we are going to close the files. So I would like also to urge Philippines and Papua New Guinea to take action so that the second step of banning imports will not be necessary. So I would like to make absolutely clear that the Commission's out, uh, out, uh, uh, outermost goal is not to go for a banning, uh, it's, not going, it's not to go for trade measures. What we really want is international cooperation. Uh, but I can say to you that uh, we have to do that because we import the two-thirds of the fish we eat in the Europe. So if we uh, just ignore the situation, this will be something that goes against our fishermen. We need a level playing field for sustainability for our fishermen and worldwide. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Let's see if there are any questions. Yes, Patricia. Bonjour, uh, Commissaire. Patricia Linsari. Yes, good morning, Commissioner. Two questions. You say that the systems work, I think. Which countries are not yet in a position to export to the European Union? And you said Guinea, Belize, and the third country, which I didn't just catch, but countries where there are still problems. Then on bluefin tuna, the campaign is underway, the season is underway. How are things going? Are they going well? Are there problems? And are there European fleets that run the risk of having to 
end their fishing before the end of the season, which is something that has sometimes happened in the past. Let me, make, let, let me clear up a little uh, the things. Let me come with a concrete list of the countries. So, Guinea, Belize and Cambodia are the three countries we have banned the imports from. These are the countries that are non-cooperative with the European Union. We have given um, yellow cards to Panama, Fiji, Togo, Sri Lanka and Vanuatu. All these countries, five countries, are progressing very well, so I hope that we will be able soon to close the files. And then we have uh, Ghana, South Korea and Curaçao. On these files we are still working on and will inform you as uh, soon as possible. So this is the situation, but uh, what uh, this situation proves is that this instrument is working and it produces good results because after some time, after some months, we can uh, be sure that in cooperation with these countries we can guarantee to our uh, citizens, to our consumers that they eat um, fish which is caught in a legal way. Then about um, the Ton Rouge, the bluefin tuna, I can say to you that uh, we're working very closely with our member states and I'm happy because everything is going uh, according to the rules. So for the moment uh, we have almost everybody, all, all the member states in the Mediterranean, they have closed their fisheries by themselves because they have exhausted their quotas already. For example, Spain, they have closed the fishery after 24 hours. They have exhausted their quota in 24 hours. Um, if I am informed well, I think that only Italians are still fishing in the Mediterranean, but I think that uh, we are cooperating with them. They have still some quota, and I think that everything will be fine with them too. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Just checking whether other outstanding issues here in the room at the moment. Thank you very much for coming down and making this statement. and. Uh, Helen is, of course, here also if there are any follow-ups later in the day on this.